Yeah, you, 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 you can view it that way, but now, right? Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can rotate it. Yeah, you, you still see the same thing because the major web still control. So what uh, Lucia Lee says, so if I were to, if I were to uh, do, I'm looking for my mouse cursor now. Yeah, I, I think I found. So what she say is, is it the same like doing this? And her and and my answer to her is yes, it's the same. So if we we highlight the whole thing, and then we do this, and then we rotate right. Okay, if you want to view it from this way, you can view it from this way. So, okay, L Lucia, I hope that answer your question. Okay, let me, let me move this example to. So now for point A, or, or if for point C, so if we look at point C, right, point C, right, the Q of point C is equal to zero because it's a terminal, right? And then at point B, right, you know that it's box beam. Right, so for point B, I'm going to see if I could uh, move this away. So for point B, right. The area that we're going to take, I'm going to draw down here. Okay, the area we're going to take. So now the next one is for point B, right? So the area I'm going to take is this area. I'm going to highlight in orange. Is this area over here, up to point B? Okay, so you, you realize that this is also a, a box beam, right, box beam. And it's 2Q, because 1Q go to the left from the terminal, 1Q go to the right from the other terminal. And then if we look at point A, right, if we want to look for point A now, the area consider is where the point stops. So this is the area of point A. So this is the area we consider. So this is still a box beam. And it's still to Q. Now, if I'm going to pick another point, okay, and, and I want you all to make sure I cover everything, right? This, this is easy, okay? Easier than what we had before. I'm going to move this up. Okay. Then I'm going to, if we're going to find another point now,
And I'm going to call this point, point D. So on bear with me. And we are going to call this point over here. Ah, you did wrong one. Sorry. I shall copy this one. And then we want to look into point D now. And I'll show you where point D is. Okay. So what if now point D is over here? Right? So the area that we have to consider is this area now, which I'm going to highlight in green. So you have to consider this whole thing over here. And then it's transferred with four web. One, two, three, four. So we still we will still call this a point D. It's still box beam. But now it is four Q. So one Q over here, two Q over here, three Q over here, four Q over. So when you draw your formula, so it's equal to VZ over IYY, QY, then you have your thickness, and then you have to put a 4 over here. Okay, because these are the thickness. So this is your thickness. Okay. Right. So this is how you design your shear flow if we orientate the forces in a different direction. It is not difficult like what uh, Lucia say is just like flipping it around, right? You can facing downwards, the analysis is still the same. Okay. Right. I I hope this, I hope by seeing this, I, I, I feel that for this chapter, calculating the first movement of area is the, 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 the most difficult thing. Okay. But by looking at more examples, you all will be better in how to select or what are the region to consider in the first moment of area. Okay, anyone, any questions so far? I don't hear anything. Good. Now, let's, I'm, I'm now I'm going to do this question. And this question is in your uh, homework, right? So we are we are given what we have over here is our Vy. Okay, so this is our Vy. So now we we are going to design our shear flow, major web controls the flow. Now the center web is not major because it's broken. Yes or no? There's there's a break. Okay. So we we have this. Okay. Then we have them coming. So it controls the flow. Hey, wrong direction. The bottom part is flow towards center. And then it goes back up. And then this one will go upwards. So we realize that over here, you have your T1, and over here is your T2. Okay, tell me. Now, where I'm going to circle over here in yellow, right? These two points are not known as terminal. Terminus means either the flow starts or the flow ends. Those are colored in yellow are known as junction. Okay, junction means there are still possibility for your shear flow to travel. Okay, so let's do point E. So we know that point E, right? Q 
at point E is equal to zero because it is the what? The mean. Okay. Then point D, right? Point D, right? So I'm going to shade point D uh, area. So point D, you only do up to here. Uh, no, okay, I'm I'm going to draw defined line. Okay, point D, your first moment of area is up to here only. Okay, there is your point D. And then you will see the arrow flow through this. You only have Q. Okay, now let's look into point C. So I'm going to copy the same diagram. Now, if we are going to consider C, the area you are taking is this area over here. It's different now. You take the whole area over here. Okay, consider the whole area over here. Okay, you consider the whole area over there. So when you when you see this, right? You realize that over here, I'm going to sketch the, the shear flow. So point C is after the junction and it's Q and Q over here. So that is the area. Okay, so there's Q at point C. And now you have what? 2Q. So you now have a what? Box beam analysis okay and then if we want to look into point b so now we want to consider point b now right point b the area now we're going to take is this area, first moment of area, which is here. Or, or I'll, 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 I'll calculate this way because it's easier to analyze. I'll calculate this way. Okay, so this is one grouping. Let me draw it thicker. I do apologize over here. So this is one grouping over here. And then the other one is this grouping over here. So when you do this way, it's easier to calculate your first moment of area. And why do we do that? Because if you look at how the shear flow travel, it travels this way. Okay. So now you have Q over here, you have Q over here. So now point B is also a box B. Okay. And then point A, I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll do on a new page. And then point A now, right? So point A, if I were to break this down for easy calculation, I'll do this. Then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. And you have to do both left and right because it's what? It's a box beam analysis. Okay, so this is the entire area that we have to do. The whole thing over here. Okay, so point A, all right, again, is box beam and is 2Q, okay? Right, so now what will happen now, right? Let's see what will happen now. If now we orientate the, the sorry, not orient, we change 
Okay, so all these are, 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 I'll put down here. All these are all your VY. Okay, now all these are all 